Okay, so today we're going to make a fitting suit uh, for a custom avatar and Marvelous Designer. Um, as you can see on the, the left here, this is a Marvelous Designer model with a, uh, one of her default dresses from the library. And I've made a fitting suit for uh, Genesis 8 from Dad Studio here and uh, very easily retargeted it. But to do that, you need a fitting suit, which is what we're going to make. Okay, so first we need to bring our uh, model in. So let's go to import. So it's file and import obj for me, because that's what I exported it at. Um, and I've got a Genesis model here. Now, uh, I've exported it because I was going to use it in Modo. So mine's in meters. If you've exported it from DAS at DAS scale, then you can use centimeters for DAS. So I'm going to use meters because otherwise it won't work and uh, I'll let it automatically add arrangement points. Okay, so if we click OK now it's going to go away and start thinking about it and it's going to import, it's going to put the um, the arrangement points on which is very useful, it's what we really want. Um, but it doesn't come with a fitting suit and that's something we need to uh, do it ourselves. I'll just turn that off for uh, the sake of decency. And now I'm going to go to the front view uh, because this is going to be very handy. So, on the 3D garment uh, menu, um, it's a bit of an odd place to put it, I'd have put it in the avatar menu, but uh, we have an option which is create fitting suit. And that's going to come up with a little wizard which is going to guide us through setting it up. So I'm just going to move that to one side. So what it wants me to do is arrange or define these points on the avatar. So I'm going to zoom in a bit perhaps move up a bit. Oops, I've drawn a point that I didn't mean to. There we go. So now I want the upper neck. So I'm going to draw a point in the centre of the neck and then I'm going to draw out to one side, try and keep it as straight as I can and then the third point fixes the direction. And this wants to be pointing a bit up. Oops, perhaps not that much. There we go. So that's my first point. And now I need to do the lower neck, and it's the same again. I want to create a more or less horizontal line across. I've got it a little bit wrong, uh, but don't worry because it doesn't uh, doesn't seem to affect the way things work. So now we've got the kind of uh, upper or lower chest part. So let's pop that in. So click, click, and click. It's easier when the bigger bits, which is fortunate. And on the wrist, it's click, click, and click. And then at the elbow, click, click, and click. I've got that one a little bit wrong, never mind. And then at the uh, shoulder, click, click, and click. Now, you see that one, I've, uh, I've done it. Yeah, it's a little bit wrong, but it's not too bad. You see it's creating kind of pattern pieces, default pattern pieces, which is going to turn into a bodysuit. We can adjust these lines if we want to, uh, if it you know happens to be particularly wrong, uh, but I think we should be okay. So upper thigh, let's pop a line around there. There we go. And then around the knee, click, click and click. I'm not very good at really really precise kind of mouse things especially when the uh, interface is a bit slow. There we go. Okay so now we've put our basic pieces in uh, we can hit the apply button because uh, fortunately it symmetrizes it for us so we don't have to do both sides. And then it will create a suit and fit it to our character which is terrific. Uh, and then we need to save it out. So when we hit save, it's going to think about it for a while. As MD has a tendency every once in a while. There we go. And now uh, I can find the female um, folder in my in the in the avatars folder and click save. And now I can reuse it. Don't have to do it again. Okay, so let's see if that worked, shall we? Uh, once that's done, uh, so let's cancel that. 
I'll bring up my uh, 2D view. Whoops, I'll bring up both views. And then in the uh, garments, I'm going to pick one of the default garments out, this uh, halt address, and just add that to the workplace. There we go. Um, when you go to the uh, fitting suit editor, it tends to turn your material to transparent. You can change it back just by clicking the uh, textured surface button there. Okay, so we can see it doesn't fit. And it might take me a while to kind of move those around, except for a couple of lovely tools, uh, which is auto fitting. And actually, it's not showing up on the other sides, probably because uh, I've closed my window too far. There we go. There we go. And uh, retarget draping. I'm going to hit auto fit and click OK. And twiddle my thumbs while I wait for it to think about it. So it's going to go through a process of trying to, you know, examine the um, the body it came from, and then try and retarget it to the bodysuit that we've just made. Um, it helps, you know, it gives it reference points and does all sorts of things to fit it up. So there we are. It has fitted. So I'm just going to undo that. There we go. And then I'll use the actual retarget draping which seems to do a slightly different and slightly better job, I think. Um, but it may depend upon um, the uh, piece you're using. There we go. So the reason I say that is because on our previous one, there was a big gape going on here. And, you know, this one has come in and has fixed that up. We've got a little bit of gathering around the back, but that's nothing we couldn't deal with. But, you know, once you've got it set up, you know, easy peasy. And it's not just Genesis, of course, you could do it on any, you know, custom character you bring in here. Um, the, my only caveat is that sometimes between the, the bigger and the smaller figures, uh, like the, the stylized figure is quite tiny, um, you know, some of the clothes don't target properly. So having them about the right size, you know, seems to uh, work quite well. Okay, so I hope you found that useful and uh, I very much hope to talk to you in another video.